It is 11.47. I'm getting done with my three mile run. Finally, all in the open again. It's been around three weeks since I've gone out here for, for a little run like this. And uh, man, it feels good. If you're new here to my channel, you haven't been keeping up with my journey per se. I blew out my left calf three years, uh, three, three weeks ago. And I've been healing, conditioning, all that good stuff for today. Today was the day. And here it is, three miles. I feel good, no pain whatsoever. I feel good, I feel light. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. So let's get this this workout done. We got three miles in. We're gonna go on into a 30 minute full body workout, cardio core strength training. We're gonna use aerobics, anaerobics, plyometrics, body weight exercises, and free weight exercises. Let's go in. Yeah, so like I was saying, man, I, I was, I'm not gonna say I was worried. I actually wasn't worried. I was gonna say I was worried, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't. But I'm gonna be honest that I was worried right when it happened. Because the problem with that, like when, once you get an injury, you actually don't really know exactly what kind of injury you have. It can be worse than what you think, or it might not be anything. You know, just a quick, muscle twitch or something like that spasm right and uh and you're good to go in one two days but in my case it was like a slight calf tear and uh it got swollen i couldn't move it i couldn't stand on it it was crazy it was crazy uh, and that's why I was like, man, I was hoping it was just a, a slight, um, like muscle spasm or something like that and recover fast. But no, when, when I got, when I messed up my calves, I was playing basketball. I tried to sprint out of nowhere and boom, a lot of it got to do with electrolytes electrolytes i think i was just really dehydrated i was out and about i didn't even notice how much i was out doing you know i had already went on a four mile run from the from here i ran to the nearest park to go watch my son's soccer game then from there we went to the other park uh to go and i, I usually train my little seven year old in soccer I was training him, running back and forth. And then after that, I started playing basketball with my other two sons. <laughs> so I was like all over the place and boom, that's what happened. So after that, I was like, uh oh, I was worried a little bit, but as I rested, you know, I, I iced maybe a little bit, no compression, elevation, protection, and i'm good wow 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 so that was a good experience and that tells you how much of how much knowledge you gotta have in the healing repairing building side right because you never know it can happen to any of us you can twist an ankle you can step wrong you, something can happen and once you get injured then you have to know how to take care of yourself as well how to uh, practice price, right? Protect, rest, ice, compress, and elevate. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go into a workout right now. Hey, stay motivated, stay dedicated, keep on fighting for the body you want. Um, you know, staying strong and having that energy is what we're looking for because we got things to do. You can do more, you can enjoy life more. 
holidays are coming so make sure you are working out right you don't have to go as fast as the person next to you go your fast right make sure you adjust your your workout to your own fitness level and make sure you get out of your comfort zone because if you don't stimulate the muscle you don't grow you don't rebuild you don't rebuild muscle fiber tissue so make sure you stimulate the muscle get the heart rate up to get the cardio your cardiovascular to a good conditioned level that way you can breathe good run jog go up a flight of stairs whenever you like and you're not suffering uh, as much as you should all right so other than that quick little video stay motivated stay dedicated i'll see you on the next one